Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Market Pulse. I am Ajit Mahuli, the founder and mentor at uh, LPAC. Let's take a look at what the indices uh, have been doing and are likely to do in the coming week. Uh, on the monthly, we are in an uptrend. We made a new high and the next area of demand zone on the monthly chart is uh, pretty far. That's here. That's about 17,800. Uh, and... Uh, it, this month is still not uh, complete and it's yeah it will be interesting to see how this candle closes if it closes within uh, last uh, within these uh, areas of 19750 we could probably move towards these areas where swing and position longs could be taken but the trend is strong enough uh, wait for pullbacks to go long uh, on the weekly chart uh, if you see after that compressive move we had a very strong rally of three weeks and that uh, this week that is uh, yesterday six two days holiday yesterday it started uh, correcting a little bit uh, it'll be interesting to see how it opens tomorrow with the fed meet uh, results coming in on uh, uh, that is uh, tomorrow evening we will see the effect uh, on uh, thursday on this so be cautious we are very, very overextended. No point in going long right now. Wait for pullbacks or look at some confirmation uh, uh, shorts. Uh, so that's the area. Uh, sorry, that's the area where we are likely to uh, come back to. That's nineteen thousand six hundred. If we start correcting here, remember there is nothing here uh, on this weekly chart. Uh, good areas of demand zone for uh, longs will still be at around eighteen thousand eight hundred as of now. Uh, overextended avoid longs on the daily chart now this is pretty interesting uh, after that strong move uh, on the weekly uh, chart as you saw uh, the next area of demand zone where there could be a turn in prices is uh, likely to be at around 19,600 all these are uh, there is no demand zone at these areas it's interesting to see that uh, we capped up and then after that gap down and if we have a follow through this could be the top uh, for the market for uh, the next couple of weeks and we will easily retrace towards uh, 19,600 at least so shorts will be uh, a very valid at these areas on the intraday time frame if you see uh, that's the area of demand zone which is holding up right now but not really very strong uh, if by chance we open uh, uh, negative and break this, you would probably have a nice area of supply to short at these levels. That's about 20,150. So right now, uh, shorts is the way to go, or you can look at some uh, call spreads uh, here. Do not uh, short puts right now. You can uh, look at short calls if you're a options trader. A quick look at Bank Nifty. So Bank Nifty has uh, failed to break that all-time high, uh, which was uh, around uh, 6, 46, 369. And we went all the way up to 310, just marginally we missed. And though this uh, trend is still strong uh, uh, to the upside, that's the area of demand zone in Bank Nifty where uh, we would like to look at some good long positions in, in the banking stocks. Trend overextended. Coming back to the weekly, now the weekly is pretty interesting. We failed. Uh, we had a gap down yesterday on the bank nifty. And if we start, uh, uh, if tomorrow also we gap down or start uh, correcting, we could easily move towards, let's say, 45,300, 45,400. That's the area based on the weekly chart. Uh, new areas of demand zone on the weekly are somewhere close to 44,700. Uh, uh, it needs to be seen how price comes back to these areas. Uh, good areas for longs will be around 42,700. So the demand, there's a new demand that has been created, which is nothing but uh, orders pulled up from these. So you can even look at it like this. So that's how it looks like. So it could easily come towards 44,000, uh, sub 44, sub 45,000, let's say 42,700 to 42,300. So uh, it is not... Uh, uh, wise to go long at these areas in the video or extended as we go down to the daily chart so again uh, fail to break uh, the all-time high we have a very beautiful supply here which is now in uh, where the prices are uh, reacting to 
that's a daily supply zone. So if you see, we had a gap up and then again a gap down and the price is sustained. Now, if you move below 45,900, you could easily move towards, let's say, at least 45,300. And the next area would be somewhere close to 44,700. So good profit margin per short trades. Uh, avoid going long. Uh, longs only somewhere close to 44,700. These will be the good areas of demand zone to go long. At around, let's say, 44,200. Uh, so be careful on the long side. Uh, uh, this is a short term pullback that's seeing uh, investment portfolios uh, wouldn't uh, uh, shouldn't be bothered those who are having long term investment portfolios. But those who are trading FNO, uh, avoid uh, trading on the long side, avoid selling puts, and you can look at call spreads or short trades, uh, at least up to 44,500. Uh, that's what Bank Nifty shows on the daily chart. And on the smaller time frame, we are reacting to this uh, area of supply. And uh, if we break, let's say, about A45, 800, we'll easily travel towards uh, 45,000. That's going to be the first target for shorts, around 45,100. All right. So good reward on the short side. So if we get a pullback, uh, anywhere above 46,000 will be good area to get, get into some uh, short-term income shots for bank nifty. India VIX is uh, again moving up from that area of demand zone, no change. Uh, we are seeing uh, VIX moving up and down. Uh, so if you take a look at the daily chart, it's in that range. Uh, now trying to move up, if it moves up, we could see it easily going towards 12.5. And that will uh, pull nifty uh, uh, towards, let's say 19,500 uh, levels. So uh, be cautious, or even maybe 19,000. And most of the uh, sectors are showing uh, bearish bias, except for Barma. Uh, and auto is also bullish, but I would not be uh, looking to go long in auto as of now, uh, because we're very overextended. We need a healthy pullback uh, to get into some quick long positions.